Well, ladies and gentlemen, so welcome to our Planets Through Ascendant series. And this week we're going to be covering Sun in the ninth house and the sign of Cancer for Scorpio Sun and people. And what happens when Sun is in the ninth house and the sign of Cancer while Sun itself rules the tenth house with the sign of Leo for Scorpio Ascendant folks. So this is different from my Sun through sign series or Sun through houses series. Now we're combining the two energies together while the sun is ruling it's a certain house because 10th house is a house of career reputation um, you know it's a house of uh, work and environment authorities government fame so now what is it doing and ninth house represents higher knowledge higher education teachers preachers counselor advisors pilgrimage so we understand these dynamics. And as always, if you do not know where your sun is placed, all the other astrological details, for that, check out the links here. Check out my full astrological report, including my books, Astrology Conjunction, Aspects, and Mahadashas at the Speed of Light, including all my consultations at this link. So, sun in the ninth house and the sign of cancer for Scorpio sun and people, first of all, shows that a person will travel to a long distance place to do their work, to perform their karma, they will require a higher education and they will do a lot of traveling. If not permanent settlements in foreign places, they will require a lot of traveling. Their higher education will become a very important part of their work environment. Like for these people, it is absolutely necessary to get some sort of a higher education, higher knowledge. Now, this doesn't mean that you have to have a degree. You may have a degree, you may have PhD, postgraduate education, MBA, but here it shows that one will have to attain knowledge higher than the mundane knowledge that they grew up with. Like our mundane knowledge is what? How we grew up, how to survive on streets, how to do this, how to do that, you know, how to clean ourselves, how to, uh, you know, uh, drive a car. Those are basic fifth house knowledge, basic education of, of everyday life. But in order for you to have some sort of a skill set through which you can earn wealth, that's the ninth house of the Dharma. And here, obviously, if let's say your sun is conjunct moon, it naturally creates a very powerful yoga known as Dharma Karma Adhapati Raj Yoga, which shows one's religion and spiritual knowledge will become part of their career. This, can, this, in a way, can produce somebody who's a theologist, a priest, counselor, psychologist, you know, astrologer. But sun alone here can show that one will attain or try to attain higher education in fields of chemicals, like being in chemistry, environment. One will try to go towards management or travel and tourism like uh, knowledge and learning. Naturally, father has been a huge influence on your knowledge, huge influence on your ability to learn everything about life. Like father actually resonates like a mother in your life. Now this, remember this is, I'm telling this without any conjunction, without any aspects on sun. Because let's say sun is in the sign of cancer. Conjunct Saturn and Rahu. Mars from the sixth house aspects are sun. No emotions will be felt through the father. It'll be completely opposite. So many people who comment like, I don't have this. Why is it not working in my case? Well, you're just not looking at it the way it should be looked at. These are the level one type information that I'm giving it to you guys. So ninth house placement of sun is a, first of all, is in a very sattvic sign of cancer. Naturally, you are emotionally, your soul is attracted to higher knowledge, wanting to be around a guru, be around a mentor. Through a mentor or a guru, your light happens in life. For you, you love being in library, like an environment, or wanting to be around lake and ocean and learning something. For these people, when you travel, that is the most important way of um, understanding yourself your soul, your personality. The more pilgrimage you go on to, the more you will learn. And obviously this can also create a situation where you can be working in a government as well. Because as much as ninth house is foreign travel, foreign places, ninth house 
is 12th from the 10th house, meaning 10th house is government, 12th house becomes working behind the scenes of a government. But most of the time though, unless other combinations are there, these people are always morally attracted to classical knowledge, classical literature. They're always attracted to wanting to uh, be in an environment where they can counsel people, mother people, nourish people, take care of people. These are the type of environments where the sun and the soul really comes alive. Okay. So guys, this is my analysis of sun in the ninth house and the sign of cancer for Scorpio sun and people. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below. And if you want to know where your sun is placed, all my other astrological details. For that, check out the links here. Otherwise, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.